Hey guys, what's up? It's Umber here, and today I am bringing you guys a guide that I have been wanting to do for a while. How to make Gil on Final Fantasy XIV, a lot of it too, without the use of a crafter or a gatherer in Final Fantasy XIV, as of 4.5. So if you're like me, you hate crafting and gathering, you just find it boring, and you really don't want to level your crafters and gatherers up, you just hate it. So, <coughs> I found some ways on how to make a good amount of gill without the use of a crafter or a gatherer. And so, here we go. So first of all, one of the methods you could use to do is farm tombstones of mendacity. So, turns out these things aren't useless after all ever since the patch of 4.4 when they released Genesis tombstones. Because what you can buy now are crafting materials under the other category from the tombstone vendor in Brawlgar's Reach. And usually these crafting materials fetch a pretty good price on the market board. So a good way to find out how much they usually sell before selling them or buying the crafting materials from the vendor is by checking www. FinalFantasyMB.com, which is a website that allows you to check how much certain items are selling for on a server of your choice. So if, for example, Giribani and Rods sell more than Giribani and Wax, then you can check this website to see how much they sell for on Gilgamesh, for example. Another method is to sell any Materia 6 that you aren't using. Now, I only recommend this until after you've put Materia into all of your gear, so you put the materia into the gear of the class you are using because these things are pretty useful and you should focus on putting them into your class first but once you've done that and you don't need any of these anymore what you can do is sell materia 6 because they usually fetch a really good price on the market boards so there's a numerous amounts of ways to get materia 6 that's from instances such as expert roulettes getting them through crack clusters, alliance seals, or just in dungeons. And usually the most valuable of these are crafters, so since you aren't leveling up a crafter you can sell those, they fetch a good price. Although Heaven's Eye and Savage Aim 6 usually tend to fetch a very high price on the market boards. So be sure to love, do your roulettes and check to see how much they're selling for on the website. Number three, transfer to Balmung and become a stripper. No, no, I'm only joking. <laughs> Another good method is to run through EX versions of ARR and Heaven's War trials, because when you complete these trials, they can sometimes drop various and valuable crafting materials that crafters will be really glad to get their hands on from the market board. Now, these crafting materials are used to make crafting craftable versions of the primal weapons, so obviously they get a really good price on the market boards. At the moment, of as a 4.5, the crafting materials for Nidhogg and Sophia tend to sell the most, but just in case, I would check the market board's website before farming crafting materials. But last but not least, and by far probably the most lucrative, do your treasure maps and thieves maps. Now, you're probably going to need to do this with a group from of players from a Link Shell or an FC, or even from Party Finder, but I'd probably do this with people you know, because uh, if you don't have rules when playing with other people, some people can just run off with loot from your map. But doing this can grant a lot of uh, gill and a variety of rare items that are really really good at getting gill for you, such as materia, expensive housing items, orchestral rolls, crafting items that are really valuable, sometimes even up to a million gill. Now, as of Stormblood, you're gonna want to obtain time-worn gazelle maps for this method. You can buy them on the market boards most of the time. Usually they are expensive, and you can only hold one. What I do first is buy one, then open the map, and then buy another and have it on me, so that I can hold technically two maps at once. Now, another thing you'll want to do is, it's going to give you a location to where you can find this map. 
there are lots of websites that just show you what the location of the treasure spot is. I just look them up honestly, but I'll leave a link to the one I use in the description below. And when you do these maps, you can also obtain Thieves maps from the Lost Canals of Uznair if you get it in your Time Worn Gazelle map. And I think that about wraps it up for this guide. Anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoy it. Let me know if this is helpful for you all. And if you have any suggestions down in the comments of how you can help others get more gil in Final Fantasy XIV, don't be afraid to comment down below. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys later. I love you all. Umbra, out.